All right, today we're going to talk about the WSA. Uh, now, the WSA is a test that's going to get you into UW Foster, if that's what you're trying to do for business. And uh, I believe it's the test just for business school. Now, why the WSA is so important to talk about is because the WSA feels like, I feel like it's obscure online to find information that helps you uh, do well on the test. So today we brought in Ryan Burbeck. Ryan Burbeck is our marketing director for Rocket Student. He's a great guy. Now, he went from Portland State University out of, out of high school uh, and then transferred back to SPSCC. You know, he's doing well. He's got about 375 GPA approximately, 375 to 38. Uh, he's doing very well, and he's looking forward to his journey at UW Foster uh, to finish his undergrad. Very, uh, very touted university up, at, up in Seattle. So we have a few questions today for Ryan. Uh, the first question would be, uh, you know, what is, what is the WSA exam? Uh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so the WSA is going to be the writing skills assessment for the University of Washington Foster School of Business. Uh, so what you're going to have to do for this is obviously you're going to have to sign up. There's If you go to the UW um, Foster page, it's going to have dates depending on which quarter you want to sign up for. And the earlier the better because those end time slots are going to fill up a lot sooner. Um, the, so what the test is, is you're going to have 90 minutes to complete two essays. These two essays, one is going to be a persuasive task and one is going to be a position task. And for the pers or persuasive, they're going to give you a business scenario and they're gonna give you um, an A and a B, and you're gonna write depending on which one you support. And in that one, you're gonna really wanna pay attention to your topic, audience, and purpose, and you're gonna to wanna, to, um, it's gonna give you who you're talking to, and you're really gonna make sure that you're gonna be um, talking to that person directly. And for the position task, you're gonna be given a statement, you're gonna be given two statements, an A and a B, and you get to choose just one of them. And um, what you're going to do with that statement is you're going to accept it, reject it, or alter it. And from my experience with the test is you're going to either want to accept it or reject it because you're on this time constraint. So you're not going to want to have to sit down and think about how you're going to alter it because that's just going to be um, taking time away from your writing. And in the position task, um, you're really going to want to go with uh, whichever position I mean, whichever statement really catches you first, because, again, you don't want to be wasting time with this. And I think a huge part of this test is just going to be your time management. There's going to be a huge clock on the wall in front of you when you get in there, and you're just really going to want to make sure that you have um, 45 minutes to complete both, because I saw a lot of people that when time was up, they literally had to, like, rip the pencil out of their hand because they weren't mm -hmm. finished yet. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Well, well, let me ask you, what did you do to prepare for this exam? Obviously, it's a pretty stressful test for most people. I was a person who was going to take the WSA. I chose to go to a different school. I was just in that being St. Martin's, but I was, I was highly interested in going to UW. So I was doing preparation for this exam. But what did you do to prepare for this, this exam that's so important? Uh, so there are a few practice prompts you can find online. There's one directly on the UW Foster website. There's I'll a put a link down. I'll put a link down below to get to that to get to that exam uh, review on UW's website. So continue. Uh, there's a few other prompts that if you look up the um, UW or the UW Tacoma School of Business, you have to take the WSA to get into there as well. So they have it um, as well. They have a practice prompt. You can find a few others online. We'll get links to those as well. But um, you really just want to be able to get your mindset into being able to. Um, write those two essays down in 90 minutes because you only are given um, two pieces of paper, like a front and back piece of page for each. So you really want to be able to get all everything down that you need to. And it's just all about preparation, in my opinion. I was having my friends read my essays. I was just getting people out there. I was getting new ideas. I wish I would have took my stuff to the writing center, but I didn't. So I'm going to give that as an example for you guys to do. Right. Yeah, the writing center is super helpful. You definitely want to go in there. They have uh, really great writing tutors to help you out. Now, what, what do you think was the hardest part about the test? Besides the time crunch and the fact that you only have a front and back piece of paper, uh, the fact that it's handwritten, what do you think the hardest part was? Honestly, like you were saying, the handwritten part, just because, like most people, I haven't... No, so you're not typing. You're not typing. This is all handwritten is what you're saying. This is all handwritten. Okay. You're going to... Um, be given you're using either a pen or a pencil. I'd highly recommend a pencil 
because uh, one of my biggest problems there was that I'd write something down and I wouldn't like it and I had a pen so I had to scratch it out. Now it looks bad. So if you're gonna do this test, I would highly recommend using a pencil. And um, in terms of the actual um, curriculum on there, I think that the position is something you're gonna wanna pay a lot more attention to in terms of just how hard it was because in the um, persuasive, you're given a lot of statistics you're given a lot of information that you can base your um, persuasion off of. Whereas in a position task, you're just given a statement and you have to write an entire essay based on a statement. Right. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. I remember, uh, I remember practicing for the position uh, and the persuasive and it's, it's basically just a huge paragraph of like a business situation. For instance, a lady who's trying to decide whether she should open up a, a small business or continue doing uh, real estate. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to persuade or you know take a position on which side she should take because she'll make more revenue um, continuing independent business and doing real estate rather than the other situation. So it's pretty interesting stuff. Um, yeah. Now, the last few questions, brother, is we could do, what do you think could have went better? Do you think after, after your whole experience doing the WSA, what do you think you could have done a little bit better? Um, something I wish I would have done better, honestly, is not like, I think I over prepared towards the end. It was finals week. I was really worried about everything. So as soon as finals were over, I had the test coming up that Saturday and I spent that entire Friday before that test, just stressing over it and doing practice essays. And I wish I would have just like chilled, honestly, because it wasn't that bad when I got in there. I, I practiced before, but honestly, like I just needed to calm down and just do what I needed to do and not over stress about it. Right. Well, very cool. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, that's, that's an overview of the WSA. Now, we're going to have a lot of information posted down below. Uh, more information about, uh, you know, things necessary to get prepared for the test, um, due dates, uh, links to the UW website. But thanks so much, Ryan, for showing up. And uh, that's it. Bye-bye.